Morris dancing has been a part of our culture for hundreds of years, with the groups all across the country donning their kits for the 1st of May. But recently it has been receiving more publicity for the fact that it could be facing extinction rather than for its classic tunes and merry dancing. Is this great tradition really at risk of dying out? Have we seen the last of the Morris men? Well, the kind that we do is called Cotswold, and it's basically sticks and hankies, which is what people think of as Morris dancing. It all involves people dancing around in various patterns and various hand movements and various stepping movements. Some are men's traditions, some are women's traditions, some are mixed. Sometimes women dance men's traditions, but I haven't seen men dancing women's traditions. In fact, it comes from the, the roots of the people. If you like, the, if you see what I'm saying, it would have been, it would have been just your normal farm worker, farm labourer going out, maybe wants to catch a bit of money, uh, and there's an off-season in farming. How can we do that? Well, why don't we get together and do a dance of some sort? I think that's probably where it originated from. It was, it was people going out and your money. Morris dancing is quintessentially English. Um, and, and I use that word advisedly as opposed to British because obviously Scotland has its own um, folk dancing. Ireland has its own folk dancing. And Morris dancing does tend to be more English than anything else, although there are some Welsh sides. Ooh, Greenwich has been going since mid-70s, I think. We were a breakaway side from Blackheath Morris. There was a bit of a disagreement, I think, amongst uh, the dancers, and uh, a new side was set up. So when did you start? Uh, I think it was about 78, 77, 78. I can't remember. It must be 25 years, at least. I think everybody, apart from one, who's my son, uh, I think everybody in Greenwich Morris must be at least over 50. Mm. And my son's 31, he joined when he was 11. But the rest of us are all 50, 60, and even 70 in some cases. So it, it is a, it's, a, it's an ageing population, and younger people tended not to come in underneath, which is what we would really welcome. There's too many other distractions, too much going on, particularly in London. There's loads more other things that uh, youngsters want to do, I think. To recruit new members, the side has really got to present an image that is appealing for young people to join. The problem that some of the older sides have got is that the men are in their 60s and it's really very difficult for a side of men in their 60s to, um, to recruit youngsters. Really, I think, to, to have a more modern image, what we need to do, and, and some sides are doing this, they are, they are uh, they have adopted more modern costumes and they use uh, new tunes um, and they've written some new dances. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to really bring the Morris up to date. The last hundred years hasn't been typical of the history of the Morris. Wolf's Head and Vixen are a gothic influenced border Morris team based in Rochester. We, we tend to think of ourselves as being a contemporary Morris side rather than a traditional ye olde pewter tankards and stout foamy, foamy owl and all that yeah. arcane nonsense yeah. that you often get with Morris I, teeth. I, I think that, that a lot of Morris dancing harks back to this rural tradition mm. which doesn't necessarily exist anymore and what makes Morris, what we're doing is trying to make Morris relevant by, by again tapping into our own urban roots. A lot of it is in the, the gear that we wear. Um, we wear tatters, top hats, um, and not a lot of colouring in, in what we wear. Whereas the, the more traditional, what you tend to think of as more traditional, uh, tend to wear white trousers, um, ordinary shoes, belt on the legs and white attitudes around. And maybe some kind of waistcoat or cross things called ball rips. <laughs> it just varies from team to team. I think there's a huge age range in this um, I mean, it goes from about 18, doesn't it? 16, yeah. Um, to mid 50s for women, certainly. So it is a big age range. And I don't think with this style that age is a barrier to it either. And I think people are drawn to it because it is different. It's energetic, um, a bit more modern as well, which is. And like I suppose with also like the young goths going about, they're like they, they're kind of drawn to us. 
as well. We tend to attract more younger people to this side, I think, because of that contemporary urban relevance that I was trying to waffle on about earlier. I was quite <laughs> perplexed by the press release put out by the Morris Ring about Morris Dance dying out in the lot next 20 years. Well, that might be true of them, but mm. I, I don't think we're under that kind of threat. Um, I think what, what will happen is like a lot of folk traditions that the Morris it will, will, it will evolve, evolve and transmute. It probably won't die. No, it won't die. Some of the old sides will die. We know that, that's for certain. What we hope is that the new, younger sides, and we hope there will be lots of them forming in future years, will take a more up-to-date image of what the Morris could be made to become. And that they will find in the Morris something they really enjoy doing. There's no reason why the dances that we do can't be evolved into something which is in tune with young people today. So what does this mean for the future of Morris dancing? I, th I think it will continue to evolve. There are sides out there that are trying to attract younger people and they, they tend to go for, I wouldn't say gimmicks, it's just a different approach. They'll, they'll uh, not black their faces up, they'll, they'll do black one side, white the other, they'll do purple faces, they'll, they'll be purple. Much simpler to dance, a lot of skipping about, lots of noise, lots of action. Whooping. And that's quite whooping and that's quite attractive to, you know, you think, hey, we get out there and give it a bit of welly. Lots of drinking, lots of well, we don't drink, but uh, it's it's evolving, it's changing, it's it's carrying on in that in that respect. Everything in life has to evolve, and I think if we were still doing what we were doing back then, we would have like fallen apart. Well, We've like evolved the dances slightly. We're still the same side, but everything had to change. Like music evolved as well, didn't it, dramatically? But I think as well, we're very much aware that there is an audience out there and you don't want to bore your audience by doing the same dances year after year after year. So each year we try and devise new dances to bring out for the new season. Two or three a year, isn't it? Yeah, so we try and keep sort of that interest for ourselves, but also bearing in mind that you are doing it and people are watching. And if you go to the same sort of events or similar events, you don't want to be putting out the same material. So for us, change is actually an important part of what we do. That's to embrace the younger generation. I mean, what well, you can see the contrast in our ages and some of the younger members of the side. Ben's 15 or 16 now, and I mean, as, you, as, as Chris said, a lot of the, it's, it is men only. Look at the other sides and when they do Shrimps Festival, it's a, a lot of older generations, and there is some of the saying a lot of the older sides are dying out because there's no one filling their spaces, and it needs to be taken to the younger population. Morris will head um, wherever the dancers want to take it. Um, in America, uh, not surprisingly, they are perhaps a bit more inventive than we are over here and you see Morris dances being taken in a new direction. In this country, we have written new dances and we have uh, taken new tunes, but we've tended to stick to the old formats. There is such a huge passion that goes along with this dance. Um, I don't think it'll die out at all. What does this hold for the future of Greenwich Morris then? <laughs> this is his nightmare. Every, oh, Greenwich Morris is going to pack in. Oh, it's going to fall. Oh, and he's been saying this for 20 years that I know of. Hmm. And it hasn't yet. So, so think, statistically, have you carry on? Yeah, we, 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 at, at times of uh, need, someone always seems to come along. And when we're, you know, unfortunately, sometimes we've, we've revived ourselves because of the, uh, another side's folded. Um, we got some members in our side from Wheatsheaf Morris. Um, they folded, they couldn't get enough recruits, and we, they said, oh, where's that next nearest side? Oh, it's Greenwich. And a lot of sides carry on like that, so maybe we'll get uh, fewer sides with more people in. I mean, that might be the way we evolve, evolve uh, over time. As long as it's the other sides that fold and not Greenwich. All the more traditional styles of Morris dancing are facing extinction. It seems it will continue to evolve in order to cater to a new audience. Perhaps we haven't seen the last of the Morris men after all. <laughs>